Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you for being here. My name is Brie and today we are doing your end of January love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So in this reading we're going to be looking at how you both are thinking and feeling and the challenges that you guys are both facing right now. So let's go ahead and get started and let's see what the most important messages are for you for the end of January. So as always, if you aren't already, please do consider subscribing before you go. Keep in mind that this is a general reading and check the description box down below for info on my private sessions, my private coaching group, and the link to the extended. All right, Cappies, let's see what's going on for you guys. All right, so your overall energy, we have the Three of Cups. How you are thinking, we have the Two of Wands. How you're feeling, we have the High Priestess. How you feel about the connection, we have the Page of Cups. And the challenge for you this last part of January is going to be the Moon. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancer. Now, their overall energy, we have the tower. How they're thinking about you, we have the death card. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. How they are feeling about you, we have the two of cups. How they feel about the connection, we have the world card. And the challenge that they are going to be facing is the sun. Okay, some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Bottom of the deck, we have the wheel of fortune. So, listen. Where you guys are both at right now, where you guys are at in this present moment, okay, this is exactly where you both need to be, okay? This is very faded, this was meant to be, and there is something here for you both to learn. There's a very valuable lesson that you both are learning right now. And I feel like over the course of the next, you know, six months, you both are going to be learning some really important life-changing lessons that are going to serve you in the future, okay? So be really happy for where you guys are at right now and be, be open. Be open to learning, okay? We have the Ten of Swords here. So I feel like there also has been a really big ending, especially for this person down here, especially for your person, have they've had a really big cycle complete in their life. But you both have had a really big cycle complete in your life. And now you can kind of move forward into a cycle where I feel like this one's going to be way more stable. <laughs> it's going to be more um, abundant. But Though it may be more stable and more abundant, you're going to be able to, to share that stability and that abundance with others around you. And that is going to make you feel really good and is going to help you both to really mature emotionally. All right. So I just kind of see this being a really good time for both of you guys. Now, your overall energy, Cappy, we have the three of cups. So right now, you know, I feel like you have come so far. You've come so far and your birthday just passed. So happy birthday. You know, you likely have been able to, you know, over the course of this last month, over the course of Capricorn season, you likely have found a moment. You found time to really just, you know, sit back and enjoy and celebrate. Hopefully you went out for your birthday. Hopefully you had a good time. Hopefully you enjoyed yourself. And hopefully you're still carrying that positive energy, that positive feeling with you. Um, you know, you may have reconnected with some old friends. You may have connected with new friends. Um, so, you know, I just feel like overall you're in a good mood and, and you're open and you're you're open to celebrate and you're you're more open than you may have been the past couple of you know past couple of months. Over probably more open than you were last year, okay? Now, for them, they've got the tower. Okay, they have the tower. So they have had a really big change happen in their life. 
But again, this has been a change that has needed to happen. There was something in their life or someone or a group of people that were really burning and draining, draining this person, okay, and may have been draining them financially or taking advantage of them financially. And that situation, that has come to an end. That has come to a close now, okay? So how they are feeling about you, we have the death card. So because of this transformation that's happening with them in their life, it's also causing them to go through a transformation and the change with, with the way that they think about you. Okay, because I feel like prior to this situation, because of the influence of this situation, they thought of you in a much different way. They saw you differently, but now they're starting to see you in a new light. They're seeing, you know, you for who you really are. They're seeing you for the, for the possibilities and the potential. And you know what? They really like what they see. Okay, two of cups here. They definitely are feeling like they want to go down this path with you, whatever that means. And that, and that path is going to look different for everybody, okay? What that path means or what's going to be the, how long the path's going to take or what's going to pop up is going to be different. But they definitely see that and they feel that you could be someone that they could go down that path with and, and they really desire that right now. So... Where you're at, you have the two of wands and how you're thinking. So you're definitely thinking about the future here. And when you're thinking about the future, you're trying to figure out, okay, what's going to be my ideal life? Like, what do I ideally want? Some of you may be thinking about this person when you're thinking about the ideal life. Some of you maybe not. Some of you may have your own vision and that's where you're focused at. You're focused on your vision, where that is going, and that's the path that you want to take. For some of you, your vision may line up with this person's vision. Whatever boat you fall in, that's kind of where you're thinking. You're thinking more about like the long-term picture. Where am I going? Where do I want to be? What do I need to do? And you're not doing that alone. You're definitely doing that in collaboration with your higher self, in collaboration with God, in collaboration with the universe. You're not just stepping forward. You're making those deci decisions with that counsel. And that's that's the game changer. That's the difference here is that you're not just doing things just because. You're doing things because you feel guided to do it, because you feel led to do it, because it feels like the right thing. Now, how they feel about the connection, we have the world here. So like I said, like, tower, death, world, wheel of fortune, like, this person's whole, like, perception is just, like, totally changing. It's totally changing. The way that they see things, the way they perceive things, totally different. And you may not be fully aware of that. Okay, like you may not have like seen them in a while or talked to them, you know, depending on what your situation is, if you guys are in no communication or if your situations keep you very busy or maybe you guys just haven't spoke about it yet. Like they are so different. They are such a different person. Their whole world is different and that's the way they see this connection. Like the way they saw the connection before, the way they perceive the connection before versus now is just totally different. 100% completely different. And for you too, you have the Page of Cups. The way that you're emotionally perceiving this connection is totally different as well. Like you may not have really seen it for what it really was or been able to appreciate it for what it really was because you obviously over the course of last year, you know, was working on your own thing. You were taking care of yourself. You were doing your own healing and your own inner work and putting your life on the right track that you needed it to be into. So I definitely feel here that I feel like you have more of the vision. You're more of the guiding force here. You're more of the, like I said, the visionary in this connection right now. And this person 
it's like they're starting to see your vision. They're starting to see why you do the things you do, why you are the way you are, why you act the way that you do. And that has completely changed their perspective. That has completely changed the way that they, not just the way they see you, but the way they see the world. Like it feels bigger than this. It feels so much bigger. Now, what are the challenges here, Capricorn? So for you, the challenge, we have the moon. All right. So for you, I feel that as you go through this cycle, okay, as you continue to work towards your vision, I feel like things within you are going to start to kind of come up. Things within you are going to start to, to come to the surface. And these are things that you've needed to do, or things that you've needed to work on. But I'll tell you this, God, the universe, whatever you believe in, will never give you more than you can handle will never give you more than what you're ready for. And I feel like as you proceed forward, as you keep moving forward, you know, new things are going to be added to your plate. New things are going to be added, you know, are going to come up for you to deal with. New things are going to come to the surface for you to think about. Okay, so that's kind of what you're going to be dealing with is, is like dealing with the reality of, you know, some of the inner things that you may not be aware of. And in the extended, we're going to talk kind of see more what that might be or, you know, kind of how to deal with that. Now for them, their challenge, which I think it's funny that you guys have the sun and the moon, <laughs> um, but their challenge is going to be the sun. So their challenge is going to be, number one, expanding their perception, okay? I feel like with everything that's going on with them, their perception is just opening wide up and having to deal with all of that new input, having to deal with all of all of that new sensory stuff is going to be really, really, really challenging for them, okay? It's also going to it's going to force them to have to grow. It's going to force them to have to, you know, continue on with this perspective change. And I really feel, you know, over the next six months, this person is really going to become like a brand new person. All right. So definitely, um, it's definitely going to be a challenge for them. And I, what I also fear feel here too is it's going to be difficult for them to stay positive. They may be someone who has like a like tendency to be more pessimistic, a tendency to turn towards the negative and I feel like that's something that's going to be changing as well. So I really hope that this reading has helped you Capricorn. I hope this has given you some food for thought, some insights and I really always recommend that when you watch one of my readings take notes, okay? Take notes and, and listen to the, the messages that really pop out to you and spend time praying over them, spend time meditating over them, all right? So don't be afraid to watch these messages over and over again until they really help, you know, click in for you. If you have really been resonating with this specific reading and you want to get more, you want to go deeper, you want to see like kind of what the action is, what the outcome is for the cycle, get some oracle cards and some clarifiers and I invite you to join me in the extended. That link is going to be down below. If you want to just go straight in for a private reading and see what messages Spirit has for you, then that info will also be down below in the description box as well. And if you're looking for a community to grow with, to learn with, to rise with, then check out my community, Rising Community. I am so, so, so proud and so happy of all of the expansion and growth that we are having over there. So that info will be down below as well if you're interested in that. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month and I will see you guys in February. Bye.